Galeotzi, the Welsh champion shorts. And this is a fight that has set the little mining town of Merthyr on its ears because both these boys are local. And uh, the support in this leisure arena in Merthyr, just about equally divided between these two. Something like 1,400 people crammed into this sports centre. Jim Brimmel is the referee, another Welshman. And these two met in November in Triorki. It wasn't a title fight then. And uh, Galeozzi got uh, a very, very narrow decision, just by half a point. And it was fiercely disputed by the Johnny Wall supporters. Wall in the dark shorts. pattern of the previous fight was that Galeozzi set up an early lead, then Wall came strongly, and then Galeozzi came again to steal the decision. Well, they've got ten rounds to go for this Welsh Championship that Galeozzi holds, but uh, the pace they're going at, more like a six-rounder. And even in these opening three minutes, this crowd alight with excitement now about this local battle. The two Merthyr men, Galeozzi on the left, and Wall. There's no love lost between these two boys either. Here's the bell to end the run, uh, and they haven't heard it. And on it goes, a battle royal, and Jim Brimmel has to prize them apart. Oh, well, that's rather set the scene. And uh, typical of the atmosphere and the needle between these two boys. And I think Brimmel's going to have a word about that. Cut that out. Care of you. You want more, more of that? We don't want any more of that, says Jim Brimmel. And, uh, well, he'll take command of this now. And he'll have to quieten it down a bit, otherwise this could get out of hand. Johnny Wall from Merthyr, 20 years old. Ranked number seven contender. Two. We're going to this a clean contest, OK? We're not on any of this bad and stuff. Clean contest on you both out. OK, good luck to you both. Well, you heard that for yourself. And uh, Jim Brown reading the riot act at the start of the second round. That's not a bad start to, start to any fight, is it? For uh, liveliness. Galeozzi in the white shorts, noted for his left hook. Galeozzi won this title in December in London, oddly enough, at the National Sporting Club, when he outpointed Dill Collins. And a lot of head rubbing inside. Seen enough, we've seen enough already to indicate that uh, this is going to be a hard and really fiercely fought battle between these two. lost and uh, Jim Rimmel moved in very smartly there to separate them at the end of that second round he didn't want a repetition of what happened in the first this is Galeozzi the champion ranked the number six contender for the British title which is held by the Scotsman Jim Watt that's Phil Bennett who uh, has been given a miner's lamp tonight in recognition of his services to Welsh rugby Seconds out, round four So three runs completed now, and uh, perhaps Galeozzi a shade in front. He's made uh, most of the attacks. He's taken the initiative most of the time. But Johnny Wall is a, the sort of character that you, you don't stop it very easily. He keeps coming at you, throws a lot of leather. Well, 
It's a marvellous fight. And it's helped uh, to be made so not only by the two men, but also, of course, by this torrid atmosphere in the Merthyr Leisure Centre. This fourth round has been a good one for Johnny Wall. And so it's certainly everything to play for. Well, there's a lot of very famous uh, Welsh fighters in the audience tonight. We've seen Howard Winston, the former world featherweight champion, and Jack Peterson, the old British light heavy and heavyweight.